What is up guys, Troy here, and I'm back with another pickups video. Now this time, it's going to be a little different. As you can tell if you've watched my previous videos, I'm in a different space. I'm trying to get the lighting better. I learned that the windows aren't the best of places to record in front of, so I'm doing it in front of this wall here, and I might eventually spruce it up so it looks a little nicer for you guys. Let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start with the weaker pickups first, because they weren't as good, but I picked up copy of MLB 10 The Show for the PlayStation 2. Really a clean copy, as you can tell. And open up. It is complete. The game disc itself. Very nice. No, like, very little scratches. This game was worth a couple bucks, and it was I got it at a Goodwill for 50 cents, so it's fine. And then we got Star Wars. Starfighter for PlayStation 2, and this is only worth like five bucks, so I might keep this just because I think it's a cool game. Tested it, it did work. Also, a very clean game. Complete. I'm gonna take a look at the disc here. The disc is pretty flawless. No big scratches. I know you can't tell as well on the camera anyway, but no big scratches there. Then the next pickup was a copy of. Rayman Origins for the Xbox 360. It's pretty cool. I got this for four bucks. I'm trying to get. I was hoping close to ten out of it, but I don't think I'll get that. But it's okay. I don't make a ton on everything. So that was cool, and it is complete with the case or the uh, manual of the game. And the game had a couple scratches. Uh, let's see if you can see them on here. You can kind of see. Right around there, there's some. Yeah, hello. <laughs> but uh, you can see that there's a couple. Not perfect, but it's a cool game. If it doesn't sell, that'd be cool, because I was thinking about getting a 360 so I can start like testing them and playing it. But it seems like it'd be a fun game to play. I've never played a full like Rayman game like that before, so that'd be awesome. The next pickup was pretty cool. It's very beaten up, but it was really cool. It was a copy of Valkyria Chronicles Remastered for the PlayStation 4 in the Steelbook case. As you can tell already, the Steelbook is beaten, and especially here you can tell this uh, clamp or hinge to open the case is broken, so it doesn't really work too well. But it's cool. The game is inside, and the, I'm not going to take it out because it's... I don't want to hurt this case any more than it is, but it's clean. It's a like brand new copy. I, I was not planning on uh, selling this game, but I tried it, and this game is not for me at all. I don't really care for it, so I'm like, oh, I'll sell it, because I paid five dollars for it at the flea market. So like, that's a good price. So that's a good price. Yeah. And then my last game pickup is a copy of Crash Warped for the original PlayStation. No manual, as you can see, but the back artwork is in good condition. It's pretty cool. And the game itself, the front is pretty clean, but the back of the disc was not as, uh, well, it left some to be desired. It was pretty scratched. Not pretty scratched, but it had like some scratches. You can't really tell. It's hard, even harder with a black disc for the PS1 games, but it's, it's kind of scratched. Not to the point where it didn't play, like all these games that I could test played, except for Rayman, I couldn't test Rayman. They all played, which I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't think they would. But they were good prices. I paid... I paid... 50 cents or a dollar for this. I can't tell exactly which one. I, I'm pretty sure I paid 50 cents for this. I paid 5 bucks for this. I paid... 4 for this, and then these were both... Uh, I believe these were both 50 cents from Goodwill. So, for all these games, I think it's a pretty good pickup pick up list this week. And now onto the big the, uh, showstopper. Because I plan on selling most of these, if not all of them, except for Star Wars, because I'm not really a big fan of MLB or I don't have an Xbox. And this game, I wanted to keep this game, but it's just not fun, so why would I keep it? I didn't care for it. I'm not, into, I'm not to the point where I need to have every PS4 game. So, um, yeah, that's that. But now on to this, and you'll probably be surprised by this. I paid $50, and then I'm not selling this at all. This is 100% mine. And it is a... Thrustmaster T80 racing wheel for the PS4. And this thing, I got it from Goodwill Online. 
it was $31 with $25 shipping FedEx and it said it was new but it was like it looked new but it wasn't tested so I took a gamble on it because they usually sell for like $75 to $100 and I'm like well I could be saving $25 to $50 on it so I'm like well might as well do it. So I bought it, got it home and it's so clean. It's very clean. It even had the, like as you can tell, it even had the original box. And I'll take it out real quick as I have it somewhat set up. It didn't come with any of the inserts, but I have like just the wheel I can show you guys here. The wheel itself is here. And all the buttons. It looks just brand new. It looks like it wasn't touched at all. It won't sit flat because I have a little clamp on it for my desk. But it is like, it looks brand new. And I'll show you the pedals. Take these out here. Little, got some cords on it, but these are the pedals. So this isn't a force feedback wheel. It's just a bungee cord, as they like to say, wheel. And it lacks a clutch pedal, but it did have paddle shifters, which is fine. And I thought it was great. I've been playing with it with uh, Project Cars, and it's just amazing. I love this wheel a lot. It's for fifty dollars. It was a great purchase. I don't um, regret this in the slightest. So um, yeah, guys, that's that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys watching, sticking to the end. If you stuck to the end, why don't you leave me a comment telling me, and it just it'll make me feel good because I don't have too many views in these videos, and I'm trying to build this channel up some more. Even though I know that I've been busy and haven't been uploading consistently. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys next time.